Hello Cancer, welcome to Brutally True Tarot and this reading is from 7th of March to 13th of March. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love. Messages for Cancer. Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords in Reverse, Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and uh, Ace of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so Seven of Wands. I feel that someone is not ready to accept what you have to say like this person might be defending themselves and uh, defending the actions that are obviously unacceptable because with this five of pentacles cancer this person might be crossing their boundaries there could be a third party situation or this person could be getting too close to others this person is not respecting the boundaries and um, if you are telling them that there is something wrong or there is something that you don't like this person will be quick to point out that you are overthinking cancer you are controlling you are being possessive and um, you are someone who is killing their space so it's going to be quite uncomfortable for you even if you are trying your best to uh, make things better. I still see that you are suffering because with this card of seven of wands this person Could be deaf to what you are saying this person would be acting like they are not responsible for anything instead of trying to make you feel more secure instead of trying to Make things better this person could be blaming you for being over judgmental or being an overthinker that you are obviously not this person might be trying to make it look like there is nothing like that. You should change yourself. You should give them more space. You can't control them. You are someone who is just being toxic. And um, this is not something a healthy relationships or relationship works like. This person is going to make it look like it's all your responsibility. If you are thinking about it, if you are feeling uncomfortable about it then it's your problem and not theirs so this person could be playing a mind mind game they might try to manipulate you this person may try to make you feel guilty about something also we have this six of swords in reverse cancer you may have this feeling that you are in a relationship that is already gone I mean you might be feeling like you are alone even if you are in a relationship you might be feeling like you're holding on to something that is not working for you that is simply too toxic for you so at this point cancer your heart self is telling you look into the details do you want to be treated like this do you want to be an option or do you deserve this think about it because this is not something that you should be uh, involving yourself in okay because with the six of swords in reverse i see that there is some kind of uh, inability to move maybe because uh, you are you know listening to what they are saying you are ready to trust what they are telling you you are actually seeing themselves according to their perspective and um, that is confusing you and you are still there you are still in the middle of nowhere and you don't know where to go you are directionless or maybe cancer it's about your emotions you feel like you are kind of um, emotionally invested in them and uh, they need to be there like you need them for something so Tara is reminding you this is not the case okay things are coming to surface so that you can realize who you want to be 
in the future with because with this ten of pentacles your future is about these ten of pentacles your future is about happiness your future is about a lot of uh, you know prosperity i see there is everything that one can imagine some kind of huge shift is around the corner something is uh, there waiting on you and um, you will see something very beautiful maybe a new energy a new person is waiting for you ten of pentacles could be about money ten of pentacles could be about something that is very close and um, tarot is trying to tell you choose people wisely because these people are going to share everything that you have also we have this ace of wands in reverse so um, cancer sometimes it is necessary to um remind yourself that maybe what you asked for is not the best thing for you okay because with this ace of wands you may have this feeling that this person is perfect for you or you always wanted someone like them you always wanted to be in this relationship but it's high time you realize that sometimes we ask for the things we don't like later okay or when we get it we feel like this is not something i wanted so this is the same situation with you. Of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more masters for you. Eight of Swords in reverse. The Hermit. The Empress, Seven of Pentacles, and uh, Two of Swords. Okay. So we have the Hermit. With this Hermit, this is about finding your true self. This is about breaking the chain also. We have Eight of Swords in reverse. So maybe you have been confined for a very long time and... Uh, it's something that you may have created yourself, those walls. Now, it's not like you are uh, harming yourself, but maybe cancer, you are holding on to things that are really toxic for you. And uh, you may have moved out of it a long time ago. So this is about finally realizing what is right for you and um, breaking out of that situation. It's still not too late. Also, your hair self is telling you to look at yourself how beautiful you are how desirable you are cancer you are this empress who can give unconditional love but the thing is if it is not being valued what is the point of um, giving your love like that also the empress is not someone who can be treated like an option we also have this um, seven of pentacles so Cancer Tarot is telling you that maybe things are not in your favor, but wait for a while and um, things will change, okay? Especially with this Two of Swords in reverse, it's time to make a choice. You might be at crossroads already and um, you will have to decide what you want next. You will have to decide, uh, are you choosing yourself or this kind of... Um, misery it's about knowing that you can protect yourself you are lovable and um, you can attract whatever you want it's not like something is so important for you that your life depends on that and that is what tarot is trying to remind you okay let's check an oracle message for you death okay so again this card is telling you that whatever is lifeless let it go whatever is not working for you say a goodbye to it whatever is um you know making you miserable you need to cut that off so this card is about some kind of end so for many of you this could be end of a relationship or maybe um, it's about end of uh, confusion and the doubts that you have. You will have some clarity. You will be able to see what you want and what you don't. And um, 
that is what tarot is about okay this is about listening to your intuition and um, this is about knowing what you should be doing at this point this is about making yourself a priority above everything else so this is the reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye